Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to talk about 10 dolls that are worth splurging on. So what do I mean by splurging on a doll? I have some criteria here. So a splurge I'm going to say is over $800 which something lower may qualify as splurge for somebody else but I just decided to go with $800 um, for the criteria here. I also decided to choose dolls that you can still purchase new because it's no fun to, you know, see a doll that you really want and then you have a hard time trying to find it on the secondary market. And then of course the third criteria that I have is that these are going to be dolls that I have personal experience with because I don't like recommending a doll that I don't have any personal experience with. So that being said, let's jump right into the list. Number 10 on my list is a Popovi Sisters full set doll. And these are a minimum of $13.50 for a new doll painted by them. So the lowest you can get is $8.50 for a doll and then their painting is $500. This goes all the way up to $10K for one of their new collection dolls. So when they debut a new doll or they debut a collection, the dolls from that collection go for anywhere around $10,000 roughly. So here are some close-ups of my Popovi full set. Now I went with the full full set. So I got the Popovi wig that's very iconic. And when the sisters paint their dolls, they always paint a moth somewhere onto the doll. And so mine happens to be on her left bicep there. The hands are really beautiful and well sculpted. And the dress also is a Popovi dress. This is one they actually just announced recently that they have used the last of this silk. And so this dress is now retired. So that's kind of cool. And I also had them make the shoes. So here are the shoes and I got the stand. So I got the entire thing. But this is a doll that's definitely a splurge. And there's definitely a long way. I placed an order a year ago for a painted cuckoo that I still don't have. But they're worth the wait. They're worth the splurge if you're looking to treat yourself to something a little bit special. Number nine on my list is a little darling ball jointed doll. And I'm already going to break my rules a little bit here. I don't have one of these dolls yet. I have seen them up close and personal and I have handled them. So I feel like I do have some experience with them. Um, but the price for these depends on the artist. Um, I've got one ordered that was $12.50 from artist Magalie Dawson. They can go up to $1,800 or $1,900. I know some of the centerpieces from Modern Doll Collectors Convention have been in that price range. And they have very intricate outfits and are all hand painted. But here's the thing that's special about Little Darling Dolls. They are hand painted by the artist. And they're using Diana Eppner's technique that she developed for painting eyes. And the eyes are where the real uh, draw for these dolls is because they're so lifelike and they're so realistic. And so this is the only doll I have that was touched by Diana. She um, did a, a full artist touch up on this doll. But the ball jointed dolls are roughly the same size. This is one of the vinyl dolls. But the ball jointed dolls are roughly the same size, can share the same wigs and outfits. And I'm really excited about mine that will be coming from Artist Magalie. Number eight on my list is a Doll Essence full set doll. Now the price depends on the material in addition. The porcelain is more expensive because they're individually made by the artist and I do not have one of her porcelain creations but they are stunningly beautiful so definitely check out her website and look at those. Um, the full sets plus shipping because they're shipped from Brazil, they're right around $800 so they fall right into that splurging category that we're looking at here. And so I wanted to show you guys my full set Adra in Wonderland who is modeled of course after Alice and she's got such a beautiful delicate face that the artist Tatiana hand painted and she's got body blushing. She has a really cute outfit that was made by a designer in Brazil and also a really um like a keepsake wooden box you can see there it's amazing but her artwork is very you know high quality she takes a lot of pride in her work and i really love these dolls and she's planning to have some more pre-orders this year so definitely check her website out and keep her on your radar 
Number seven is a Connie Lowe artist full set. So she's got artist samples in the OSD size that start around $8.50. And the MSD and SD size, they're called, I think they're called a simple full set, start around $1,200. Now this is one of Connie's pictures. The doll on the left is Pearl. And she is going to be the doll for Austin BJDC. And she's already sold out. They just posted today that she's gone. So congratulations. Congratulations to BJDC and Connie on such a successful sculpt and addition. I love her little face. She looks like she is smirking, and I think that's so cute about this doll. But I have three of Connie's dolls. Only uh, one of them on the left is an artist proof. That is my chocolate hazel. And she was an um, artist proof from Connie Lowe. I'm pretty sure she was $8.95. So the artist proofs are the ones she gets, you know originally from the factory and then she does everything herself and creates everything the ruth and the melee that you see here um ruth was for modern doll collectors convention and melee was for bjdc so those are a little bit less i think they're around 600 um but if you get the the s or the msd sd size i don't really know what you'd consider them they will be up a little bit in that splurge range Next on my list is a Pongratz doll. These were dolls that I pined after for a while. They are hand carved wooden dolls. They are made in Germany. They're by artist Elizabeth Pongratz and she's been making dolls since the late seventies. 14 inch all wooden dolls go for around $2,300 if purchased here in the States from the toy shop and they have a very generous layaway program. If you can purchase a broad tax free, like from Hesemans or like two of mine came from Germany uh, tax free, they will be a little bit less than that because you're not paying those taxes. It also kind of depends on what the exchange rate is at the time. If the euro is low compared to the dollar, you can get them for a little bit less. It just all depends. And these are two of mine. I have a significantly larger Pongratz collection now, but these are the two that my husband brought back from Germany when he was there on business and the boy on the left is from early 2000 era and the girl on the right is a 2019 doll and so these dolls are very special parts of my collection they're all wooden like I said hand carved look at the wood grain on the faces every face is delicately hand painted the materials used are the highest quality these dolls are just amazing keepsakes and over time they don't get floppy because they're spring jointed inside they're not strong and so they maintain their integrity over time number five on my list is a tender creation doll now a blank nude doll starts at 990 not including the shipping you can add paint you can add a wig, you can add shoes, there's all kinds of things you can add to these dolls and you can see my video about how to order a Tender Creation doll to see more details about the cost associated with these dolls. But they're really, really beautiful dolls. You can see that, you know, they are a classically beautiful doll and as a matter of fact, a lot of her dolls are modeled after celebrities or women who are known to be very traditionally beautiful or models and that sort of thing. So this doll, you've got so many choices, so your price can, you know, be kind of whatever you want it to be. And they sort of, I discovered today, can share clothes with Pasha Pasha Mini. Now she's a little bit slimmer than the Pasha Pasha Mini, but the clothes do work. This is a Pasha Pasha dress by Meg Fashion Doll. And you could just see the attention to detail that the artist puts into the painting of these dolls. So my doll was painted by the artist, um, full body blushing and makeup. And I just really love this doll. I think she's so gorgeous. She's very well made, high quality. So this is a doll that's definitely, definitely worth splurging on if you're looking to treat yourself. And if you want a classically beautiful fashion doll, uh, this is the perfect doll to add to your collection. Number four on my list is an artist customized life doll. Now the prices depend on the artist. And from the research that I've been doing since I've gotten really into Blythe at the beginning of January is that most customs on a real base, so I'm talking about real base Blythe's here, um, they start around $700. That's about the least that I've really found. And they go up from there. So you can see this cutie on my page here on this 
um, screen. This is the one that actually is incoming to me. So spoiler alert, you're going to see her soon. And she was 1300 So this is My Girl Here by Anna Sagina. And she was 750 So she falls a little bit under that threshold. But she still was definitely a splurge for me because I had told myself, you are not buying any more dolls until March. And she came home in January. So good job, Allison, sticking to that resolution. I didn't do a good job at all. But the original Blyce are very cute too. They're not a splurge. They're fairly inexpensive when compared to other dolls. You can get them for under $200. But I just love the way the customizers do the face-ups and the eye chips. And I love the rerouted hair. So there's so many cool things about a custom Blythe. Number three on my list is a Pigeon Artist Full Set Custom Doll. And the prices for these dolls are going to depend on what you ask for. The customs can go for $1,000 and up. My Trixie Mattel doll was a little over $1,000. I can't remember the exact figure. But these dolls are so amazing. And can we just talk for a minute about what the artist Joshua David McKinney did last night? He was on a show on ABC called To Tell the Truth. And it was just such a cool experience to watch that as a doll collector because what he did by being on that show is he legitimized doll collecting. I mean, it's a legitimate thing already, but something that, you know, a lot of people don't take it seriously. But I think by him being on that show on a national platform and being so confident about doll designing and showing his beautiful works of art, that it just lends this sort of you know, legitimacy and seriousness to doll collecting to people who might be outside the hobby. So I just wanted to say that because I'm still buzzing about it a little bit, but his dolls are so beautiful. And the thing that makes his doll is not only is she a beautiful sculpt, but his painting and the way that he styles the dolls, the wigs that he makes, um, everything about his dolls are just so unique and they're so him you can you know when you see a pigeon doll that he's done you know it's his work because his artwork is absolutely so recognizable so i highly recommend a pigeon doll for your collection number two on my list is the anna salvador full set doll now with these dolls kind of like with everything else the prices depend on what you ask for a custom doll, a full custom with the little figure like you see here. And this photo is from her website, which I'll link in the comments or excuse me, in the description below is 1100 euros. So that's going to be, you know, one of the higher priced items on this list. But her dolls are so beautiful. Now, these are my dolls of hers. And you can just see how exquisite the face up is on this Emily, the tiny little freckles, how delicate everything is. And here's my Olivia. Just absolutely gorgeous. They actually look like they're porcelain. And she uses beautiful vintage fabrics to create the doll's outfits. You can see how gorgeous that is. And look at the little figures. I feel like her full sets aren't complete without getting the little figure. But she doesn't sell the little figure separately. I think she used to. But the demand is so high for those that right now the only way to get them is to get a full set doll. And she does blush the hands and do a manicure on her full set. So they're totally worth it. High quality wigs that come with these dolls. They're just gorgeous. These are two really of the gems in my collection. Real leather shoes, all this cool stuff. And so I saw her at L Doll and, you know, I had had one of her dolls before and I ended up selling it in a pinch and I regretted it. That was one of the dolls that I regretted having sold. And so I ended up getting another Emily and definitely will never sell one of her dolls again. And so this is her and she's one of the artists that I plan in the future to get some more dolls from just because her dolls are so absolutely gorgeous and so amazing. And I could just, I mean, I don't know what else to say. They're just fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoy this footage of her sales table from L Doll because it was really something to behold. Number one on my list is a Pasha Pasha full set doll. And you could probably see this coming if you've seen my other videos. Prices are different for each full set. Her latest doll that she sold on eBay sold for a whopping $5,800. So congratulations to Pasha on that. 
The lowest price would be a limited full set like Ruby Cruise, which is being released on February 21st for $2,800. Now I have one of her limited full sets, that's Giddy Heights here. And I think her original price was somewhere around $1,400 or $1,500. And so what you get with a limited full set is you get an outfit, you get the face up and body blushing. And then I've got the artist full set. And this is my um, Loki doll that is just absolutely incredible. And you can see how much more detail is involved with Loki. Um, she's got a lot of, you know, the gorgeous makeup. She's got a really gorgeous wig. She's got all these embellishments, jewelry, things like that. So I definitely think this is a splurge worth taking if you can do it because they are absolutely fantastic dolls. And I'm hoping to be able to see her at a show one day in the future because the only time I went to a show that she was at, I didn't get the opportunity to meet her and since have become a huge fan. All right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this list, but I want to give you a few tips about splurging. One of the things is never go into debt over a luxury item like a doll. I don't feel like that's an appropriate thing to do. And I am a financial professional, so that's always gonna be my advice is that you should not go into debt over a doll. If you cannot afford it, you should not buy it. But that being said, many artists offer very generous layaways. So if you've got something really expensive that you want, try to work with that artist and see if they're willing to do a layaway for you. Oftentimes a layaway might be easier for someone to manage than to say put aside $100 a month to save for a doll that you really want. So if you need to take advantage of a layaway to get that grail doll or get that splurge doll that you really want, I don't see anything wrong with that. While you're waiting for your doll, whether you're either waiting to pay your doll off or you're waiting for your doll to be made during pre-order, I like to look at pics, I like to find videos, I like to do shopping for some accessories and kind of plan my doll out. So you kind of get a richness from the experience of the splurge because you know you're, you're buying this great doll and there's so much cool stuff you can do with it. All that being said, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And let me know in the comments below what your biggest splurge for a doll ever was or what doll do you have your eyes on that's going to be a splurge for you. And it can doesn't have to be in this $800 or up category. A splurge for everybody can mean something different. It doesn't matter what your budget is. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much again for watching and thanks for all the support. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.